In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an AI SDR agent fully customized to your business using Lindy. This agent that we will build will be able to find your leads autonomously and reach those leads using all kinds of information from the internet. It will then sync all that information to a database and use it to draft highly personalized emails to outreach to those leads. But it doesn't end there because after any of the leads reply to you, this agent will be able to negotiate with them and even close the deals. So let's jump right into it. So to save time building, we are actually gonna use a few templates. For the first one, I'm gonna go on the top right and search for sales. And I'm gonna click on the AI sales development representative. Click add. You'll have to proceed to the onboarding just to link your accounts and set up some of the things within the template. Now, this is the part of the automation that is going to be finding leads for us as well as researching them. Now it might look complicated, but let me quickly run you through this so that you understand how each one of the steps works and how you can customize it for your own needs. So every automation on Lindy starts from a trigger. There's many different kinds of triggers on Lindy like Slack, Dropbox, Airtable, etc. But in our case, we just have message received. So that's when we send a message to the Lindy ourselves. So what this entire automation does is that when we send Lindy company names, it researches those companies, finds leads from them, and then enriches those leads and emails them. This entire automation starts the, the loop. A loop simply takes each item and processes them individually. In our case, we will be sending Lindy multiple companies and we'll take each one of these companies and research them and find leads from them. The way it does it is by first carrying out research in perplexity, basically gathering as much information as possible about the company and then finding the leads from that. You'll customize this prompt here to find the leads that you need. In our case, we'll be finding two key decision makers at the company provided. For example, head of marketing or other similar positions. Here, we also specify what we want for the lead to be found, like full name, title and role, location, etc. So this is where you can really customize it and get perplexity to find the specific information that you need. So what happens next is we enter into another loop. So each one of the leads that we find will be entered into this loop where each one of these leads will be enriched. So we do a Google search first to find the LinkedIn, find more details on LinkedIn, and then search for that person on People Data Labs. And after that, carry out even more research on perplexity using all available internet sources to create a concise profile summary. So as you could see from all of these previous steps, we basically try to gather as much information as possible about the lead itself from all publicly available information. Now, what this template actually does next is that it takes all of the available YouTube videos as well as podcasts and transcribes them as well as drafting an email. But we don't want that for our use case because we're actually gonna have another outreacher. And just for our use case, I don't see the value in transcribing the podcasts. You can do that if you want, but let me quickly take you to the template that I modified. Now for our use case, I actually modified this template slightly. And if you're wondering why it looks different is because I clicked on this button here for auto positioning so that it looks a bit neater. But basically what happens here next, after all of the research has been done, is that we have a condition step here. And if no contact email is available, then we exit the loop because we basically can't contact that person. But in our case, if email is available, I added another step here, which is just a Lindy AI summary step. And I told it to summarize all of the information that we found before and highlight all of their recent activity. Then I added a Google Sheet step, which is a pen row. Uh, for that pen row, the setup was very simple. I just had to choose my spreadsheet. I had to choose my spreadsheet title. And then I had to define all of the rows with the information. If you could see the purple ones, these are prompt AI. So these are the ones that Lindy will figure out itself. For example, here I put lead's name. So Lindy will figure out the, the name of the lead and enter that into our spreadsheet. Contact email, also the same, socials the same, and creation date the same. However, for the blue ones, as you could see, those are set manually. For example, for this column, I wanted to enter the executive summary that we did before. So I simply chose the output from here. And for the stage, I set it as lead. So it will just write lead on our spreadsheet. So let me show you a quick example. So here, for example, I told it to find free leads from Reloom. As you could see, it entered into a loop. It did the company research for Relu, then found leads from it, and then started another loop for each one of those leads. And then as you could see, it did the, found the LinkedIn, analyzed the LinkedIn, got LinkedIn details, researched further on perplexity, 
and then crafted an executive summary and then adding all of that information to our Google Sheets CRM. And as you could see here, they are all in our spreadsheet. So we've now automated lead finding. Let's next automate the outreach. So for the next template, I searched for outreach and then I chose lead outreacher. So this is what the initial template looks like. So the way it works is that we have a Google Sheets trigger here for new row added. Basically, Lindy will detect every time a new row is added to our spreadsheet. And then from that, we draft our first email. After the email is created, we have a timer, which waits for three days. After that, another email, and then another timer, and then another email. If no response, we have an update on Slack telling us that they have not responded. But you'll notice that after each email, we actually have two different paths. One of them is after email is sent and another one is after reply is received. So for each one of these, we only set the timer after the email is sent. And if reply is received, we actually cancel the timer. So this is just a simple step that cancels the previous timers because we don't want to send them another email if they've already replied. And by canceling the timer, this next emails will not be sent. But let me take you to the modified template that actually works with our CRM. So mine looks a little bit different once again, but that's because I use the cleanup tool as well as adding a few little extra steps. So here I actually modified the email. I made it a little bit more detailed, like I gave it a structure to follow. And I actually wanted to make sure that it uses the information from our spreadsheet. So I told it to generate a personalized cold email using the executive summary below. Then I gave it a structure to follow, open the one sentence personalized hook based on the summary. And then only after that bridge into the offer. Then I gave it a priority for the personalization itself because each one of the personalizations within our CRM will be different. Basically just setting a priority of what it should mention based on the summary, for example, if they were on a podcast, that is top priority. If not, then it will talk about other things. And I also give it an example email. This is very important. If you want to get consistent outputs, you want to give it examples. And then I added a Google Sheets update row. So here, once again, I set it to our spreadsheet. And for the lookup value, I just did prompt AI and I set it to leads email. So basically what it does is that it uses the leads email to find the row on here to then update. And then for the updating the rows, I just set all this manually, like I set them to blank so it doesn't modify them. And then for the stage, I set it to contact it so that when the lead has been contacted by our outreach AI, the stage will actually change to contact it. I did the same for the other steps. For example, after the first follow-up, exactly the same thing but first follow up here as well, second follow up. And if they replied, same thing here, we set it to replied. Very simple automation, but very powerful because now we have outreach done on autopilot. As with each email, we get an update on our CRM. And for the Slack updates, I just linked Lindy to my Slack. I set the user as my email and it just told me to let me know if the prospect has not responded. You can customize this further and as much as you want, but I left it simple as it was in the template. Same here for the outreach update. So let's actually quickly test it out. If you want to test out any of your automations, you can actually click on the test here, choose the trigger and see it happen in action. So for example, here was one of our leads named Dan. As you could see, a personalized email was drafted and then our spreadsheet was updated to contact it and a timer was started. And just double checking the CRM, the update is there. Now you don't have to wait for three days to actually see whether the rest of your automation works. You can just press skip. As you can see, another reply was sent and the CRM was updated to first follow-up. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have the leads finding and enrichment automated. We have the outreach automated. The only thing left is the actual negotiations. Let me show you how to automate that as well. And for our last automation, I searched up for email negotiator and went for this one. Now this one will probably take the most customization out of all of the previous ones because you really wanna make sure that your negotiations are on point so that you can actually close the deals. The way this automation works is that we have an email trigger. So whenever an email is received, then we have a condition step, which just filters the emails, whether they are an inquiry or not. So to make sure we don't have some email going through that's not even related to our package, then it goes into the knowledge base to check whether or not we even have responses to the kind of email that we got to the kind of the inquiry that we got if a response is found then we proceed further to respond to them and after the response we figure out what to do next if they're not interested we send them the not interested email if they're interested and ready to proceed we close the deal no negotiations needed we send them the email 
on how to proceed further. They need negotiation. Here actually enters an AI agent. So instead of adding an action like we did before, we can actually add an agent. So this agent will actually be able to negotiate on our behalf. We basically give it a prompt on how it should negotiate. And then we give it a Gmail skill so that it can send replies. Then we have another condition step to basically just loop this around until a decision has been made. If no decision, it just loops back to the agent. If decision, it loops accordingly to the next email. Let me show you the modified version. So into the knowledge base, I added three different files. If you click on the cock here, you can actually see the files that you added. I had an FAQs, so basically like frequently asked questions. So any kind of questions that customers might have, there's question there and then an answer. Objection handling, so any common objections that you might get also in there and service offering. So all of the details about our service. So basically AI agent has all of the information that it needs to actually carry out the negotiations. For the first email, I modified it with our service offering and how it should respond. Then once again, you see our spreadsheet step. This is once again to update our CRM. So for example, here in one of the conditions we have is that the emailer is asking for additional quotes, package option, discounts, questions about partnership, etc. So they're negotiating. From that step, I have it go into the spreadsheet step to once again, update the row as we did before, but this time to negotiating. So that if they enter negotiations, this updates our CRM, letting us know that this lead is the, the negotiations. Then it goes into the AA agent, which I also modified. I just told it like, if they have any objections, focus on reframing value, and then handle objections with empathy, clarify package differences, offer very minimal discounts, and explain what happens after they say yes. And then once again afterwards, I add another two spreadsheet steps to update our CRM, one with closed one, and another one with closed lost, to update our spreadsheet depending on the outcome, and modify emails in here as well, with our customized emails on how to proceed further, as well as how to reply if no deal has been made. For example, here, I sent it an email saying that, yes, I'm interested. It went through into the knowledge base to find a response, found a response, and then responded to that email, sending it all the service information and asking it if it wants to proceed further. Then I just replied as an example, like, yes, let's go for it. And then I just responded to it, like, sweet, let's do it, like I'm closed. So I responded to it, marked it on the CRM as one, sent it a close partnership deal. But then I responded to it actually saying, sorry, I changed my mind. So it was like, so of course the agent was like, oh no, the deal has been lost. So it updated the deal to lost. And then it responded accordingly in a polite manner saying like, okay, not a good fit now. Let me know if you change your mind later. So just like that, you can automate your entire sales process using Lindy. If there's any other functionality you want us to cover, let us know in the comments down below. And you can actually start playing with all of these automations by clicking the link in the description and signing up for the free plan. And if you want some inspiration on some of the things that you can actually automate with Lindy, then make sure to click the video on the screen now.